What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel, and today we'll be previewing another Port Adelaide Players season. It is Riley Bonner today for my new series, Players to Watch. So let's get straight in to see what Riley's got to offer this year. Riley Bonner, the 21-year-old who was drafted in 2015 at pick 37, has played only the four games for the power, but he has been a sensational pickup, I feel, and is really promising. He's got a lot of build and he's got a really good left foot kick and he's building really nicely for 2018. He finished off last year with the last three games of the year against the Dogs, against the Suns and obviously in that elimination final. He averaged 18 disposals in those three games playing across the halfback flank. And I tell you what, his start to 2018 has been an absolute ripper. His preseason has been very strong, contributing very well across the all-time trials and has been a fantastic player in the AFLX and the couple of JLT games that we've played. And I really feel Riley Bonner can set a light this 2018 season. It really cement his place in the best 22. And it all starts with round one against Fremantle. We've got no broad bent. Pollock is looking like where he'll play, but there's a spot there for Riley. And if Dan Houston or if Pittard, Hartlett, any of those halfback flankers that don't perform, they are on the edge and Riley is right there to take his spot and really claim something that, you know, I really feel he's going to build and be a sensational player for the club. And that left foot kick really reminds me of the times of Michael Wilson back in the early 2000s where he just set a light and took on the game, took on uh, and just ran, ran the whole field. He's got pace as well, which is a real key for Riley. And I think that sets him apart from the rest of the half-pack flankers. Is he takes the game on, he's got a great left foot kick. And I reckon if he gets the chance, he hit the scoreboard very well. Working his way through a bit of traffic, but the handball just in between two teammates. Bonner doing pretty well. He knocked it to his own advantage, then stepped past another. And as I said, obviously with the broadband injury as well, Riley Bonner is a very, very good player to replace Broadbent across that half-back flank. Obviously, he came into the side late last year, and he just showed some signs of real, real guts and determination to take the game on. And I think that's what Port Adelaide need. I think that pace as I've said before, will really, really set the tone for Riley to utilise his skills. And I think he'll be able to do that, especially early on in the season. Obviously, he'll be able to, if he doesn't perform quite as well, the Magpies are always there, and he's always performing really well in the SNFL. And he showed that in last year, especially. And that's what granted him this opportunity. And I just want to know what you think, Paul fans. What do you think of Riley Bonner? Do you reckon he's got what it takes to be in the best 22. Do you reckon he's a future star? I've had a lot of people say they really like this kid and so do I. I reckon he's got a real talent on his sleeve and playing across that half back line he'll be able to take the game even if they push him up to the wing. Play a Jared Pollock type. Go against Amon and we'll even start on the bench and also he brings pressure. It's another thing that I really like about Riley is he brings pressure so he does the double standard. He'll go forward and attack the forward half, and then he'll go back. And he'll run two ways, which is essential for an AFL player these days. With a narrow advantage, decides to go by hand. Go, Bonner. son! Gets onto that left boot. Oh, good kick. The crisp through the air, wasn't it? Yes. Obviously, he's not that experienced. He's only played the four games of footy, and obviously they've only been against um, not the greatest of opposition. Um, two games against the Gold Coast Suns, one game against the Dogs and one game against the West Coast in a final. So he has a little bit of finals experience as well. Um, and i not a final player, I know. I get told about it all the bloody time. But I think Riley will build that experience and he'll build that knowledge and just become something that he was drafted for. And he's a re I really like this kid. I really like the look of Riley. And what he's shown in AFLX especially, he's running two ways um, and his left foot kick going to come in handy. So hopefully he gets the job done this year and gets a spot in the 22 and really puts a claim forward for his future at the Port Adelaide Football Club. Josh Bruce was hopelessly outnumbered that time. Here's Riley Bonner. I like the way he moves off half back. That's a fair way. And he Good indulges work. in a couple of bounces and wants some more. Riley Bonner off the Good left boot. Point. Well played, son. Well, Paul fans, that wraps up this edition of Players to Watch with Riley Bonner. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below what you think of Riley Bonner 
And do you think he's got what it takes to cement a spot in this year's 22? Not long to round one now. We're less than 12 days away. It's going to be a very, very exciting time. The build up to round one on the channel is going to start on Monday with a very special video. And then we're just going to preview the game and also preview Port Adelaide's 2018 season. So stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to the channel and you are watching this, please click that subscribe button. We're a Port Adelaide community and we'll be talking Port Adelaide every week. So stay tuned for more. Tune into the Portis Podcast every Wednesday at 8pm. The links are in the description below. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are in the description below as well. A lot of Port Adelaide content on my social media, which my friends do not like. But that's their issue. Thank you very much for tuning in, Port fans. My name is Anthony, and obviously, come a pair.